Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Coach Neil, Soldier Up Sports, Monsters, Inc. And today we're going to talk about helmets. So check it out. I got two helmets here. And most people just by looking at the helmets wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. Like which one's better, which one's worse, which one's going to protect, uh, which one's not. Now, this helmet here, you could probably pick up for about 100 bucks from you know, Dick's or Academy. Uh, Probably going to see a lot more you know, youth organizations you know, using a helmet very similar to this. You know, the problem is whether it's old, new, it's a hundred dollar helmet. This helmet isn't going to do anything except give your kids headaches, make them not want to hit, not want to tackle. You know, definitely not want to play as physical as they're going to need to play. You know, to be monsters on the playing field. Now, this helmet right here, this is about a thousand dollar helmet and i'm telling you right now you you put something like this on your kid's head he, he's not going to experience you know any of the problems uh that kids wearing that other helmet i showed you would um this is an amazing helmet when it comes time to tackle block um and, and play physical on that football field you're going to unleash that monster and, and there's really no question about it now, no helmet is guaranteed to prevent injury, but kids showing up to our training program wearing a similar quality helmet to this can't cut it. Like they can't train. They can't go one routine tackle, one routine run uh, without experiencing some kind of headache or some kind of problem associated with the helmet. Now, when they show up in a helmet, you know, similar quality to this, all the headaches, all of the problems associated with a helmet like this one are gone. The kid's different. They're not afraid to block. They're not afraid to tackle. They're not afraid to do a lot of the things that you need to do you know, to be a monster on that football field. You know, problem is there's still a lot of people out here that try to tell you that, you know, the helmet doesn't matter. Uh, your kid just needs to be tougher or your kid just needs to get used to the helmet. But I'm telling you right now, it matters. Putting this helmet on your kid's head is the equivalent of wearing a cardboard vest to a gunfight. So if you're actually interested you know, in your kids enjoying football and playing to their full potential, you'd be better off taking this helmet and throwing that bad boy in the trash. So do you actually have to go out and buy your kid a $1,000 helmet? No, but a solid helmet is going to run you about $400 plus. And I'm telling you right now, if you put your kid in a real football helmet, you're gonna see a huge difference in how they play the game. Now, if you're interested in signing your kids up to play for our Monsters Inc. 11U training-based tackle football team, you don't have to worry about helmets because this year, all our kids are gonna be rocking the brand new number one rated football helmet out there, the Zenith Shadow XR. So the big question is, what makes one helmet significantly better than another helmet? Well, here's the deal. It's all about the technology that goes into the construction of the helmet. Like what is the face mask made out of? Is it titanium or is it steel? You know, is the shell of the helmet ABS plastic, polycarbonate, or is it some sort of space age material that's just better at reducing the, the linear and rotational forces to the head? And finally, you know, the inside of the helmet. What is the actual system inside made out of? What materials did they use? Did they use cheaper materials or did they use the best materials that they could find? And regardless of what anybody tells you, all of these things are super important because your kids only got one head. And a lot of the concerns that people have when it comes to letting their kids play tackle football wouldn't be as concerning if we were serious and paid more attention to the type and quality of helmets that we put on our kids' heads. Now, there's always those few kids that whether you put them in the worst helmet or the best helmet, they're still gonna ball out. And that's where the type of helmet we're putting on our kids' heads becomes even more important. And as coaches, we have to make sure that our kids are always in the best equipment, period. Because that kid, whether he's got a headache, whether he blacked out or he's seeing stars, he's not going to tell you. He's not going to let you know that anything's wrong with him. He's just going to keep going back out there eating. So at the end of the day, just know this. Helmets matter big time. 99% of kids are not going to enjoy the game or eat as long as they're wearing bad equipment. And that 1% who will, 
We got to stop sending them to war with a cardboard vest on. 